Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Naquan Jordan, the AI protagonist, and today we're going to be taking our text-to-image worlds created in Skybox AI and turning them into actual 3D spaces. So right now you can see I have a um, alien world. This was the prompt that I used, the surface of an alien planet. And for the methods that we're going to use, we're going to use two different methods. For the first one, it's good to have a prompt that doesn't have a lot of stuff in the foreground. So that's why I specifically said per, uh, surface. And for the second one, we're going to need a death map. And so when you do generate a new world, you need to make sure that is on in order for you to actually get that death map. And so we're gonna generate a new one just because you can only turn that on right before generation. So we'll start over and create a new world, even though this one looks very, very good. I'm sure the, the new one that generates will look good as well. And here is our new generation. And this one looks a lot more alien than the last one. They both, both look really good. This one looks good as well. So this is the one that we will be using. It looks like there's a structure there. Um, doesn't look like an organic structure might have been a little house or something which is kind of cool okay so first thing we're going to need to do is we will need to download so this is going to download both the 360 image and the death map together so you can see both of those are downloaded and you can see some testing that i've done from previous downloads once we have that we will need to convert our 360 image into an hdr file I'll be using um, Convertio for that, and this was the last one that I created just before doing this video. But I'll go ahead and do another one. So this is what it looks like when you first get here. You're going to choose file, and the one that we're going to be using is this one. So we're going to convert that into an HDR, select that. Click on convert. Now this is a free to use site. Um, they do have upgrades, but in all honesty, I've never even looked to see what the upgrades are for, because I've never needed them. So now we're gonna go ahead and download our new HDR file. And what we're going to do is we are going to jump into Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine is um, a video game engine and you can actually use HDR files to turn them into actual 3D worlds. So we are going to launch Unreal and jump into a new world. Okay, so when you first start it up, um, if you don't have any recent projects, you're going to be here. What we'll need to do is we're going to use a first person project and we name it whatever we want. This is going to be um, I'll just name it New World and then click on Create. So once it loads up, you're going to be here in this um, this random 3D space. Uh, this is just kind of the default. You can use the left mouse button, hold it down to turn left and right. Hold down the right mouse button to turn up and down and uh, more of a free movement. Now you can use the arrow keys to move back and forth. Of course, wherever you look, that's going to decide um, how the arrow keys work. If you're holding one of the mouse buttons, you can also use WASD to move around, you know, just like you would playing a video game. So first thing we need to do is we need to add a plugin to this project. So you go to edit, click on plugins, and we're going to look for the uh, HDRI plugin and there it is HDRI backdrop you're going to click on that check mark there and we're gonna have to restall it in order to install the plugin so let's restart all right so now we are back into it let's get rid of all of these and so now that we have that plugin we're going to go down here click on this uh, plus button here and we're going to look for lights 
and we're going to look for HDRI backdrop. So that is loaded in and as you can see it creates a, um, a little dome. If we go outside you can see what the dome looks like. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace this texture with the texture that we created in Blockade Labs. So we're going to go down to our content drawer and we're going to import that texture in. And here it is right here. So we're going to import that. Oh, actually, you know what? We're not going to import that texture. We're going to import the HDR of that texture. So here is the HDR. We're going to import that. All right, there we go. That's what we actually needed. So we are going to take this HDR file and then we're going to replace this one here. So there's two different things you can do. You can either select it and then just click on the uh, use selected asset or you can actually drag it over to here. You can see it changes right there, but you know that you can drop it there. And then we drop it and that is it. Let's uh, close that. And we now have our 3D space. So you can move around all you like. You see it, it is pretty much the exact um, skybox that we used in Blockade Labs. Everything looks pretty much the same. If I go out through the, uh, through the wall, you can see how it looks. It is a full 3D space, nice little dome. So this is probably the easiest way, uh, one of the easiest ways I should say, because the other way that I'm about to show you might actually be easier. But this is one of the easiest ways to create an actual 3D space with your, um, with your Skybox images. And the cool thing about Unreal is you can drop objects into this space. And so what you would do is you would go up to the, um, pixel bridge right here and this opens up kind of like a I guess a web browser and you have over 14,000 assets to choose from so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at some rocks some that looks good with the background that we just used and you can see there is a bunch of them to choose from so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just choose a couple of boulders to load into the scene and then I will jump back into it to show you what it looks like. Alright, so I just added uh, just a few boulders um, to the scene. So as you can see, just from adding a few assets, you can create some very realistic looking scenes. And this is great for basically whatever you want to do with your AI if you want to tell some stories or you just want to create some unique images that uh, takes a little bit more work than just doing text or prompt then this is a easier way to do so all right so that is the unreal engine method now we're going to jump into method number two so for method number two, we are going to be using uh, Lumine AI. I believe Lumine is how you pronounce that. So this is a um, an AI program that is powered by Blockade Labs. As you can see, they partnered with Blockade, where you can actually turn your 3D worlds into um, 3D spaces that a character can run around into. So we are going to click on play to get started. And here we are. So we are in the editor now. So this is free. Uh, you will need to create an account in order to do some generating. When you create your free account, you will only have three generations. You have to pay in order to get some more. So I actually have uh, over 30 generations. I just paid the five bucks to support the team and uh, it gave me 30 generations. So you can see at first glance, it is just like Skybox AI. Um, if we hit escape, we can go back into the normal mode. But here is the big difference, this icon right here. 
As you can see, it gives you a nice little character. And if you click on the play button, you can actually run around the world. So you can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel as you're running around. And you can see it turns your skybox into a full 3D space that your character can run around. And now this is still in beta, so there is a lot that you can't really do, not yet. Like I can't imagine you can replace this character with another character or anything like that, but you can create worlds. You can generate worlds with it. If we hit escape, we go back to the, um, to the default. If we go down here, so these are some worlds that um, we can already select. We click on that, the uh, magnifying glass, we can actually see more of them. So right now, this is a combination of worlds created by the team and by users. Uh, this is where you would put your prompt. And then this is all the different styles. So as you can see, it works just like um, Skybox AI. And these down here, some of these are actually created by myself. But what I'm going to do is actually look at some of this stuff created by other users. So let's have a look at this one here. You can see it loads up pretty quickly and I will click on the character to start running around. We'll zoom out and you can see this is a nice looking world. There is a little bit of um, detection, uh, what do they call that? Collision detection. There's a little bit of collision detection as you can see, but it is very limited. But you can, but I can act, run around through the different halls and stuff like that. And if we were to change back into the um, into the actual camera mode, we can actually move up and down through these hallways just like we could with our character. So this is a much easier way to just see how different parts of your world turned out before you actually decide to turn it into a full 3D space and do any kind of editing with it. So we'll take a look at one more world before we actually add our world. Let's see, what's a good one to look at? It's so hard to see the worlds from here. Let's, uh, let's have a look at this one. Actually, no, let's look at this one. And take a look at this. So this is a very, very nice looking one. Um, I'm actually, I'm gonna use our, our character rather than using the camera. So let's run around and explore this one. So you can see this one turned out really well. Looks like there is a wall here, so I'll have to run around. It's a nice little path you can go down. So yes, you can see this is a great shortcut um, for creating simple games and for creating nice little 3D scenes with your AI art. All right, so enough running around. We are going to load in our alien world. So over here, you got the upload and download. So we are going to click upload. So what you'll need is the skybox texture and the skybox death map. So the texture is this one here. And then we're going to need the death map. All right, and then we just click on import and let's run around. So just like that, the world we created in Skybox is now fully 3D and we can run around with our character. 
even some of these shrubs up here in the foreground look realistic and there is a little bit of a drop when my character actually ran down it which is really cool oh and you can jump by the way uh, you press spacebar to jump so you can see this is probably a much easier way than using Unreal Engine in order to bring our um, skybox to life of course with Unreal Engine you can add so, so many assets into the scene so I guess you would have to decide you know would you rather go this route and just kind of be at the mercy at whatever lum uh, Lumine Lumine or Lumine I'm going with Lumine whatever Lumine has or you can put it in Unity and then you can do whatever you want with it now of course there are other ways like I have seen some blender tutorials um, I've seen tutorials with other game engines but Unreal seemed to be the easiest one as far as the game engines go so that is uh, pretty much it this is Lumine and those are the two different methods the two easiest methods I could see to turn skyboxes into actual 3d spaces so tell me what do you guys think have you tried these before do you like any of them do they seem like um, the best ways you've seen online let me know in the comments below and as always thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video Don't I overthink it, baby. It's just